so overwhelmed, so like, oh my gosh, how the hell am I supposed to do this? All right, good morning. Hi guys, welcome back. It is currently Tuesday morning. It's officially week one of my masters. I'm about to leave soon-ish to go to my first tutorial. It's so crazy how I'm actually starting now. Yesterday was obviously Monday and it was my first day going through the material, reading, listening to lectures and all that stuff. And it is, <laughs> there's so much work to do. Um, I spent basically the whole day, I started maybe around like 10, 30, 11, and I was doing all the work for this tutorial up until like 5 p.m. Um, so it was like listening to an hour's worth of lectures, which I didn't think would be that long, but then obviously pausing to take notes at points and then looking at the like additional supplements that provided with the lectures. And then I had three core readings. Those were basically just articles from like the Harvard Business Review and other like business articles. And obviously reading that, understanding that, making notes around that. There's three other additional readings that I kind of want to do um, that are also like listed but they're not like a hundred percent like we don't actually need to read them and then we had some tasks to do on our like Moodle page it's like a discussion post on a forum so we were talking about deep fakes using artificial intelligence to distort videos and stuff like that um, and make like fake videos of celebrities and stuff so yeah the unit I was preparing for yesterday is the tutorial I have today which is digital marketing strategy and also had to prepare a case study to present in the tutorial um i don't think it's gonna be like present but like you know when you're just like oh so what did you guys think and then you like put your hand up and you talk i'm hoping it's like that i'm hoping we don't like go around the room it's basically we're meant to find a case study i don't know if this is interesting but i'm gonna keep talking we're meant to find a case study about a business that has successfully pivoted during COVID-19. So when I say pivot, I mean like successfully adapted their marketing strategy, their products, their business model to, you know, adapt to the change in consumer behavior, the change in the market, all of that sort of stuff. So I chose Grind Coffee. You've probably heard of them, you know, the pink coffee. I attended this thing called London Demo Day, where it's like a bunch of startups pitch to investors and the creator of Grind did the keynote speech and I just found it really interesting how he was talking about how they adapted um, during COVID. So I used that as my case study because they developed like a bunch of at-home products and turned over 10 times in sales online than in store. So that is my example for the class today. I hope I pluck up the courage to actually um, say it, but we'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna leave now, I've got my stuff. Um, I'm gonna spend the whole day in uni. So I've got my packed lunch as well um, because we've got a welcome reception for the digital marketing course later today at five. So I might as well just stay, eat lunch there, do work there and then when I get home I can chill afterwards and eat dinner and stuff and do like other work like editing and stuff like that so yeah that's my plan for the day I'm um, looking forward to finding a cute little study spot um, got my iPad leaving my laptop but yeah you guys know I love this outfit this is my OTD flare jeans Air Forces this Nike vintage-esque sweatshirt that my boyfriend got me polo underneath and then my King's Business School tote bag I don't know if this is cringe to be taking but I'm taking it anyway if I feel cringe I won't take it tomorrow but um yeah that's the vibe so let's go <laughs> Wednesday. I have to multitask because I've got such a short window of time. It's 1.30. I need to go over my lecture material and do the activities for tomorrow's seminar, which is at 9 a.m. I believe. Luckily it's online this week, but normally it would be in person. That helps me a lot because I'm going to a concert tonight. If I had known things would be this hectic, I probably wouldn't have booked this concert, but I'm very excited for it. It's a Laney concert. You guys know I love Laney. I've seen them like twice now, but yeah. Anyway, yesterday was such a busy day. Okay, let me, I honestly felt like I lived two weeks yesterday. I had my tutorial at 10 a.m. and then I looked around Bush, 
can you and then I looked around Bush House for ages to try to find somewhere to like do my lectures and stuff. Um, couldn't find anywhere, so I went to the library. Library was very nice. And then I was there from like 11.30 till five, just doing the reading and doing the lectures and activities for today. Went in today at 9 a.m. It went really, really well. Um, I was so tired this morning, so I didn't film anything, but I literally just went in, did my seminar and came back. And just now I had um, a Pinterest event sort of thing because I'm part of Pinterest's um, Rising Stars program which is really fun. I think there were like there was like five of us or eight of us or something learning strategy and all that stuff to do with Pinterest which goes so hand in hand with like what I'm doing at uni which is really cool. Um, but yeah, right now, as I said, I need to do my work for tomorrow's module which is digital marketing communications. Today was consumer behavior and um, really interesting stuff. And I spoke in my tutorial and the tutor said to me at the end, he was like, excellent observations. I was like, thank you so much. Not me being a genius, oh my gosh. My contributions, I was kind of talking about, we had a case study that we had to read prior about Headspace and Calm, the two meditation apps. Um, we were talking about their future goals. I was talking about how Headspace wanted to move more in the direction of including machine learning and artificial intelligence. And so I was kind of talking about the privacy concerns to do with that. <laughs> And then also um, about um, how businesses can best like expand B2B, which is business to business. So the same way our universities could sometimes give us access to something like LinkedIn Learning, Headspace could collaborate with other brands to give the brand's employees access to Headspace and you know B2B, business to business. But yeah, anyway, there's two men outside my window doing some work and it's really awkward for me now. As I said, I'm going to a concert, so I just need to get everything done really quickly because I'm meeting Ron, meeting him at the station at like 3.30ish, and I have a feeling there's a lot of content here to do. I've got two activities. Oh my gosh, so many activities. I haven't even had one tutorial and we've got a quiz. Okay, I should be able to do this in time. I should be able to, I've got enough time. I'm gonna crack on with this and then we'll catch up at another stage of life. I'm slowly starting to realize, or very quickly actually starting to realize how little time I have to do anything apart from this degree. So you're gonna have to bear with me quite a bit. We'll catch up in a bit. <laughs> so much to catch you guys up on. First of all, I completely forgot that I had a personal tutor group e-meeting in three minutes. I was literally just taking a little break and then I saw my emails on my iPad come through and it was like group meeting soon and I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, there's gonna be 20 of us. Not too bad, but I would have hoped it'd be more people, but it's so fine. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna jump on Microsoft Teams and then have this meeting and then we'll catch up in a bit. But I've got a lot to catch you guys up on because a lot of time has passed since we last spoke, but it's so fine. I'm hoping this meeting is good. I wasn't even ready for this. Like, I feel like I look bad, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna keep my camera off at the start and then I'll turn it on if it seems appropriate if everyone else has theirs on. Like I hate being the only one with my camera on, so you always have to like assess the situations, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm joining. So scary. There are four people in here so far. Why is there only four people? Before we kind of assume the other person will be still joining. I'm so awkward, guys. I really like my personal tutor though. I had like a seminar with her last week. It's been a while, but um, yeah, she's so cute. <laughs> she's just such nice energy. Am I muted? Oh my gosh, yeah. She's just such nice energy. My mom hates it when I put my hood up. Every time I FaceTime her and I've got my hood up, she's genuinely angry. 
which I don't understand. All right, uh, I would say we could we could Tati. Yeah, Tati. Okay. Um, so I did my undergrad at the University of Portsmouth and I did television and broadcasting. So quite different to digital marketing, but alongside that degree, I was kind of freelance working and part-time working as like a social media manager and doing quite a lot of stuff in the influencer marketing space. So I guess that is where my interest in digital marketing came from. And um, King's, just the fact that it's like in London and really diverse, that is kind of what drew me to this program particularly. Monday the next week so it's my second week at the moment and obviously this vlog started when it was my first week and um guys yo I'm so what I feel so out of my depth or I felt so out of my depth in this in that first week like this is no joke <laughs> this is no joke but it's like I'm stressed and I'm loving it at the same time, like the content is so interesting. I feel like I learned more in that one week than I did in like six months in my undergrad. It's just so intense. I'm trying my best to do like weekly reviews on LinkedIn. I don't know, I use LinkedIn quite a lot. I feel like LinkedIn is the only place I can talk about the like academic side of my life and people don't think it's weird. Cause on here, I don't know how much to be talking to you guys about what it is exactly that I'm doing. But yeah, I've just been feeling very stressed, obviously because it's like an adjustment period. I didn't really know what I was getting into 100%. And it's just a lot of work. A lot of reading, but as I said, so interesting. Um, one of my tutors, he loves the Harvard Business Review, so we always have weekly readings from there. And then a lot of stuff that I had kind of come across before, but I didn't know I had come across before, if that makes sense. So you know when, when you hear something, you're like, oh yeah. But then it's like the more scientific um, underlying theory behind all of those like concepts you already know, which is so interesting. Um, so a lot of like consumer behavior, like why do we think the way we think? Why do we want things? Why do we buy things? Like there's just so much and I could talk about it for so long, but I just feel like I'm boring a lot of you. So I'm not gonna talk about it unless you let me know that you're actually interested. As I said I'm in week two right now I use the weekend to like catch up like I'm feeling a lot more on top of things now it's 11 58 I'm gonna get back to work at midday and do like an hour more and do my case studies and then hopefully do the articles but yeah and then I'm gonna take a walk do all of that stuff I'm gonna get back to work now but I just wanted to update you guys that's why I wasn't filming anything because I was just feeling so overwhelmed so like oh my gosh how the hell am I supposed to do this I didn't post a video that week either because I was just you know it was just a stressful time, you know, but I'm hoping that I can keep on top of things now if I'm working at least six days a week, like using my time really wisely. Um, but yeah, it's 12 now, so we'll catch up in a bit. <laughs> It's a bit later, I've gone on my walk, I'm back cooking dinner at the moment so you can probably hear the stove. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to quickly end this video. I hope it wasn't too all over the place, but um, I'm looking forward to sharing more. It's been a really great start, like I've enjoyed it so much, but it's just been more stressful than I anticipated. I would always hear people saying that like master's degrees are like really intense and like really concentrated and stuff. And I was like, yeah, sure. 
They weren't lying. They were not lying at all. <laughs> it's really forcing my brain to expand more than it ever has in such a short period of time, but I'm enjoying it so much. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications on so you don't miss any videos. Um, all my social media links will be in the description below, so feel free to follow me. But yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing more in this journey. The ups, the downs, hopefully there are more ups than downs, but I know it's challenging as you've already heard me say so many times. But yeah, thanks again for watching. I'm gonna go now, but I'll see you next time. So bye.